I'm Haley Taylor, and you're listening to The Rough Draft Diaries. If you take a look around Toledo, Nathan Matamo's fingerprints will inevitably show up on the art featured throughout the city, but also on the records that you may hear, featured locally at Switchboard or Wesley's or Toll House. Nathan is a DJ and a music producer, but he's also the Art and Public Places Director at the Arts Commission managing new public art projects every day, overseeing their maintenance, their conservation, public art education, community outreach, and more. The program has grown quite a bit, you know, in the nine or 10 years I've been in this position. You know, the the, the project load has um, grown pretty much exponentially <laughs> since I started. So it was nice to start at that time and grow with the program, you know? So yeah, I can't imagine jumping into this position now. <laughs> It's a lot. You know, there's a lot going on right now. There's a good deal happening at the Arts Commission, but also in the city of Toledo, a town that Matamo knows well. He grew up here, went to school at UT, graduated with a degree in sculpture, DJed and freelanced around until he came to the Arts Commission 10 years ago. This familiarity creates a kind of comfort, but also pressure in his work, a motivation to best reflect a community that is changing and yet feels so consistent at the same time. The, the pressure's there because I think the perception is, you know, that we are the Arts Commission and that we make all these decisions. And, you know, I, I think the city and the artists that we work with really depend on us and depend on us to be professional and efficient with what we do and, and to create, you know, valuable experiences, not only for the artists, but for the, the public, you know, the this, this city of Toledo. So it's there. Um, but I think we, the, the pressure is kind of, dissipated a bit by great leadership and and that sense of um you know partnership and collaboration that goes along with these projects matamo seeks the same sense of collaboration in the music that he djs and produces they both extend from the same place his love of art and his love of music the roots being right here in toledo music is a uh, part of toledo's blood you know the the our jazz culture um, even, you know, the rock scene and the, um, our connection to Detroit, to me, it's just um, just creating collages of like different culture, you know, in one hour or two hour set or whatever it is. The, the music that I produce is definitely influenced by architecture. And then the, the project I work on with Justin Longacre, Elmhurst, is really um, influenced by uh, Toledo's ecology and very hyper-local experiences. It's like, um, we use a lot of f uh, field recordings, so there's birds and bugs and, you know, um, banging trees and, <laughs> you know, things that, um, you, know, you know, we kind of incorporate into uh, the electronic kind of sound. So it's a lot of, it's really about place and about, you know, the, a lot of those themes kind of permeate what we do. If you listen in the background, you can hear those themes. This is an Elmhurst track called Sleet on Leaves. To me, it's all kind of, you know, the artists go to the bar to see the DJ. And, you know, it's like, it's like a sharing of, of culture. But I don't, you know, I don't do a lot of visual art anymore. My outlet is, is sitting in the studio and, and working on music and, and listening to records and, you know, just um, it's, it's, it's kind of shifted to that, you know, for the most part in the past, you know, 10 years or so. Yeah. At this point in our interview, the conversation shifted, as it always does, back to Toledo. Matamo has been at the Arts Commission for 10 years. I've been at WGTE for eight years. And we compared notes about how the city has changed in that time and yet remained the same. Familiar moments for both of us, moments where we head downtown and find the streets empty. Moments where I head to music shows and no one dances. Moments where I'm asked if I'm planning on staying in Toledo much longer. When will I inevitably move away? And yet, there are moments where the city comes alive. A poetry reading, an art show, backyard concert, coffee with friends, time spent on the river, light reflects off the new Summit Street, art installation, and the moon shines as trains pass and the city sleeps. These are all moments that Matamo believes Toledo should embrace and cherish, and most importantly, moments they deserve. I don't know, I think Toledo, you know, we do need to get used to, you know, I, th I think we, you know, we deserve nice things, right? We deserve, 
we deserve it. I, I think, you know, Toledo works hard. It's always worked hard. That's that's what we do. We put our heads down, we work. And there's times where I think we just we kind of settle a little bit, you know? I think, you know, I think it's downtown's getting better, but downtown's like, you know, it's a symbol of, the symbol of Toledo. It's the, it's the city center and it's, you know, we got to really strengthen the surrounding areas to, to make that a thing. You know, people, if they can't afford, you know, basic stuff it's hard to go out to eat and it's hard to go to a concert it's hard to you know go to a ball game we don't need to replace those people with people that have those means we need to figure out a way to increase those means with the folks that already live here you know we don't we don't need to gentrify we need we need to strengthen what we have you know and, and strengthen the people that we have because there's a lot of just amazing great people that work really hard in Toledo, you know, especially in some of the the more the more challenged neighborhoods, you know, they it's there's amazing work going on right now. You just have to keep your eyes open to see it. For now, I'm Haley Taylor and thanks for listening to this episode of the Rough Draft Diaries. <laughs> <laughs>